If you want to know how to make a cargo plane robbery system like jailbreaks one will kind of like it Make sure to watch this video all of the way to the end to find out how to for free Hey guys, I welcome back to this video on my channel and in this tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make a cargo plane robbery system uh, Before we actually start by saying all the usual stuff you already noticed at the beginning of the video, I did a text saying this is a glitchy tutorial. Now let me explain why. So what I did was before, like a week ago, I started recording this video, and I ran into a few problems. So I cop, I, I got to the dev forum, I copied a script which allowed me. It's like jailbreak. You stand on the train, you're gonna move with it. I inserted that into my Roblox Studio, but what happened? was that uh, when a plane goes up, uh, the, the script doesn't execute. Only if the plane is in a stationary position, then the script would run. And that's a very weird glitch. I'm not sure why ba how bad CC did it or something. Uh, this video is not really requested at all. Um, requested by myself. Lonely. Yep. Anyways, um... If you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe because you will be an epic gamer. And I say that in every video of mine, but you want to be an epic gamer. Yes, and shout out to my member. He is a member and members are also cool, just like you guys. If you want to become a member, click the blue join button down below. Okay, let's just start off because I'm already recording for 1 to 30 minutes. Uh, you want to open toolbox, first of all. And you might see this, which is... Wow, you want to insert cargo plane, you'll probably get the jailbreak one as third, which is highly expected. It looks like a very pogger plane. Anyways, so you see all of this. Now I'm going to guide you through what to do. You want to open your plane. You see, probably see bottom door. And I believe you can just delete. What is this? nothing you want to delete the bottom door completely you see this you want to go to crates you want to remove every single crate boom and then the next part will be uh, coding them and um, yeah so what we want to do first of all is go into server script service insert a script Call a leader stats because we're gonna make it so if you click on a crate, not hold E because as I said, it's a glitchy tutorial, it's not gonna work, you're gonna like lose your proximity prompt. Weird stuff. So we're gonna be making it with a click detector. So if you click, you would get a um you you just get it. You'll get your money and you well maybe you can drop it off somewhere. Anyways, in leader stats, you want to type game dot players dot player added colon connect function player and then we'll call leader stats because the instance that new folder and instance that new is like inserting a new object in your roblox game you can do leader stats the parent the parent is equals to player now three more lines local money is equals to instance that new number value and then money dot value is equal to zero. And money dot uh, name is equal to money. And make sure over here to type a comma leader stats. Now for testing, if you would, if I would anchor everything, I will play my game. What will happen is at the top right, you'll notice, hey, we got leader stats like jailbreak. Wow. Okay, never mind. Um, I said nothing. Ah, leader stats. That name is equal to leader stats. There we go. Alrighty, that was um pretty messed up. Newbie, be ashamed of yourself. Okay, yeah. If we play our game, you'll see money. Kind of logical. And yes, I didn't have pants on. That's a Roblox glitch. Now we're gonna be doing some difficult stuff. You really wanna watch out. You want to click part, get a part, but what you want to do now is make it the size of the plane. So like make the plane covered like this. 
Don't make it, make it like pretty much the exact size so it will not mess up. Get it over this, and now it's on this platform, and we're just gonna move it up without satisfying. Just like this, and your plane will be gone. Don't worry. You're gonna name this the center with a capitalized C, else your script is kaboom. Uh, transparency 1. And now put it in your plane. And then plane, primary part, center. Now you want to select all your models and ungroup them. And if you have more models inside like these, ungroup them. And if there are more, ungroup them. Let's see, do we have any models? We don't. So that's perfect. Now you want to be making two new folders. Game system. And game system. Put this one in service script service. Put your leader stats in it. And this one. Put your plane in it. Rename it to cargo plane. Like that. Now. Go to service script service. Duplicate the script. Rename it to move plane. Open your script. Remove everything inside of your script. Inside with me. Yes. Local tween service is equals to game. Call and get service. Tween service. Local run service is equals to game. Call and get service. Run service. Yes. Local points. Keep it blank for now. Local plane is equals to game dot workspace dot game system dot cargo plane. Not child added. Cargo plane. Roblox. Local new point is equals to one because we're gonna start at one. For local speed, I mostly recommend 50, but let's just start off by 14, maybe. 15. Yeah. Uh, local debounce is equals to false. Now we're already going to do some difficult stuff. Plane. The primary part is equals to the plane that's center. We're just making sure it's actually set on the uh, pla uh, plane's primary part. Yes. Now we can do plane, colon, set primary part C frame, plane, dot center, dot C frame. Just like that. We're going to be making a quick time function so we can calculate the distance and the speed of the plane. Function, get, time, distance, speed. We're just going to do local time is equals to distance divided by speed. And then we're basically, basically already returning the time. And that's your function. Return time. There we go. Now we're going to make a function so the plane will um, like weld at each other. And the plane will be like attached. So it doesn't fall. Function weld cargo plane. Uh, for i equals 1. Out of every part in the cargo plane, do we're gonna do if plane colon get children i uh, is other than the plane the primary part because the plane is already attached to the primary part you don't have to like reattach it then local weld is equal to instance that new weld constraint not weld but weld constraint man so many bloopers I love it. The weld the part zero is equals to plane colon get children i because over here we defined i stands for every part in the cargo plane. Weld weld the part one is equals to plane the primary part. Now copy this only this and type weld the parent is equals to plane the primary part. Now we can do plane on get children i that anchored is equal to false so it has its own mass yeah pretty logical now all we're gonna do uh not much just gonna do function move cargo plane new point is plus equals to one so it's gonna be the same but also a new number if not points colon find first child 
blank. So if you do points, then you have to do for every po uh, for every part you do have got to do part one, part two, etc. Um, dot dot new point. Then so if there is not a new point, then we're gonna wait five seconds so the plane will regenerate. The new point is going to be one because you will be set back to one. Plane the primary part that C frame is equals to points colon find first child one dot c frame then wait 10 seconds and then it will um relaunch um now we can do local next point is equals to points blank dot dot new point because we have one two three you get it local distance is equals to brackets playing the primary part the position uh, minus next point the position dot magnitude and magnitude calculates the positions local time is equals to get time distance and speed and you're almost done already now we can basically do local tween information it's equals to tween info dot new and then you can do a bracket time enum dot easing style dot linear enum dot easing direction is going to be out we're gonna do zero we're not going to loop and we're gonna do zero and that's your tween info yeah nothing much to say anyways local tween is equal to tween service call on create um playing the primary part with our tween information uh tween information because for all the info of our yeah comma curved bracket c frame is equals to next point dot c frame like this Gonna zoom out for your peep. Yeah. Um Yeah, for the peeps. I get it. Anyways, tween, colon play. Like that. We're just gonna like launch our um we're gonna launch our plane. We're gonna play the tween. And we're just gonna wait until um the tween is completed. So tween dot completed colon wait. We're just gonna wait for that. And we're already going to initiate it by move cargo plane. We're going to do it one more time by saying over here, wait seven. Or wait seven seconds so we got time to join. We're going to weld the cargo plane and we're going to move the cargo plane. Now you have to do one more thing for this tutorial part. So it's going to be split into two parts. Now you want to make a part over here. But make sure you rotate it 180 uh like degrees eh i believe this should be fine because this is it may gonna it, it may bug i'm just gonna say that now i'm gonna name this w uh, part one actually i'm just gonna keep it like that i'm gonna do this is going to be part two and make sure part two is at kind of the same position as one like this then get a part three over here you want to make a new part which is called part four put it in the middle like this and I'm gonna do part five yeah should be right going to be part five and i'm just gonna let the cargo plane move to part six now do you have all those numbers you want to group all of them boom name it points and put it in game system now go back to your move plane one more time and over here local points is equals to game dot workspace dot game system dot points and now you're basically done now what i'm just gonna do for testing is of course because I like testing. I'm gonna click run. I'm gonna wait, and that's a huge problem. 
make sure to anchor your game. And I believe there's going to be one bug. Just going to wait for the cargo plane to move up. Yep, we got the bug. So you see, the cargo plane did, in fact, move. I'm just going to set it to 50. Um, but now, what you want to do is go to your points. Go to point one. Rotate it 180 degrees. Do this with all of your current parts. So what happens is the plane doesn't register. Yeah. This one. Boom. This one. Oh no. This one. Boom. And six. Kaboom. Now I'm going to test it again by clicking run. I'm going to wait. As you can see... What are you doing, cargo plane? Well, I guess you got to move it. As you can see, the plane goes like this. So, what you want to do is get this to this. I know this may sound very confusing. I do, in fact, understand why you find that confusing. It's, it's just annoying. I, I have this problem, too. And I do not like it, too. So, we're just going to follow the plane. Click run again. And we're going to do a final test. If it's even a final test. Anyways, I uh, thank you guys for the support lately. And I believe... Yep, there we go. It's going to go up. And it's going to turn around. Boom. And it's going to fly to the part. Now it's stopped. Let's wait. It's going to wait for 5 seconds. It's going to be spawning back. Boom. And then after 10 seconds, it's going to move rock and roll again. I was, in fact, correct. Boom. But there's just, there's just one thing very recommended. And that is getting these parts, move them away. And, um, like this, so you don't get interrupted. I'm going to do one, one, one final test by clicking run. Boom. We're going to wait for the plane. As you can see, the plane will move up. It goes to the parts, and over here it's going to turn. Yep. It's going to go to these parts and stop at the final part. So this is basically, um... Like, the part one. I'm gonna make a part two because I cannot... If you want this in one tutorial, you'll be spending an hour. So if you did, in fact, enjoy this tutorial, make sure to... Yeah. J j make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you do not want to miss out, do the steps I just did tell you. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Newbie, and I say peace out. <laughs>